It's first of all, these two people. This, where, where are you running? Where are you running? Okay, we see Finn here. He just came out of the minefield. Come, these people are still yeah. running, but let's watch. Like, pay attention to them where they go. What's over here? <laughs> like, where, 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 where are they running? So it looks like. Okay, so okay, okay. so they gotta be running somewhere. So it looks like yeah. the concrete ends. So they're not running to Maybe. another place with another, like, craft. But okay. I see this little shed sort of thing right okay. there. Right there. Maybe yeah. they're running to that shed, and that could have a whole underground situation going on. Oh. And they need, they need, they're running from their plane to a briefing room, and they're late or something. Hmm. I'm filling in blanks here, hmm. but trying sure, to make sure, it work. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I guess they could also just be doing conditioning. It's possible. Like you got to stay in shape because pilots are actually they're super fit because there's a lot mm -hmm. of like G force and stuff. But they are in their uniforms. I'm okay with that. I'm 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 actually super okay with that. Okay, let me because hear. because if they are ever attacked by the <clears throat> by the empire by by the force, what are they called? Mm -hmm. Gosh, the, tie fighters. No, 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 the entire organization. The first, first order, first order. Yeah, thank you, thank you. If they're ever attacked by the first order, and you're a pilot, you got to get in your ship fast. You don't have time to be like, oh, I'm on the south side of the base. I got to run to the north side and get my helmet. Like, I left it over there. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Just carry it with you all the time. Like, be, be flight ready all the time. I see. So you're thinking there is times where they can do conditioning in, like, workout gear. But there's also times where, like, I need to be full up right now. I'm on duty. Exactly right. Exactly right. I see. And I also, it's a good even, idea. Even to, if you had like a gym area, yeah. you'd like bring your bring your your flight suit and your helmet with you there. So that mm -hmm. way, if you have to get dressed right on, like right away, like get dressed. That's right. And I guess you would also want to do full up exercise because you want to be comfortable moving around in That's your right. suit. Imagine with you get, the, with the like, helmet in combat, and, and you're like, oh, my shoes aren't broken in. Like just break yeah. your shoes, breaking <laughs> your shoes. Yeah, or like. In the rush, like it's, I can't run as fast because it's awkward. So I haven't learned how to compensate. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. hear that about like firemen when you first wear all the gear, they're like, oh, it's so bulky, clumsy. Right? Mm -hmm. But then yeah. after you wear it all the t like frequently or all the time, then second skin. Okay. 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 I like that. That's a very mm -hmm. good explanation. Okay. There's a little bit more we can figure out from rebel 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 culture. So first of all, everyone, everyone's running. <laughs> everyone, everyone, <laughs> look, look, like maybe maybe like these three people here are walking, but everyone else, yeah. everyone else running. running. Well, when Finn starts running too, he's like, "I gotta, uh, well, I'm going somewhere." <laughs> I gotta run. It's like, uh, when in Rome, <laughs> oh, <laughs> get some cardio right now. <laughs> the other thing I noticed here is that their concrete, except for this, mm -hmm. concrete's in good condition. Like they take care of that stuff. Yeah. So landscaping too. Yeah, look at this. Like, okay, so there's grass here, and it's not overgrown and and mm -hmm. um, and like spilling into the the mm -hmm. roadway. It's it's manicured. Somebody somebody in the rebel culture is keeping this pristine. It's looking yeah. good, which actually is very important to keep the base in working order. You want stuff to be clean and clear and not messy. I can make assessments of equipment. I can move stuff around without like oh, I hit a thing of grass. Um, oh yeah. Uh, so. That actually is an indicator that some stuff's dialed in here. Mm -hmm. But then also walking on the grass, walking on the grass and running here with vehicles. There's no like clear walking path. Like mm -hmm. I would, I would like to have a yellow line here. That's like this is for walking only, and then like a blue line like mm -hmm. oh, between that for bicycles only, yeah. and then and then here is like vehicles only. I'm also noticing this is sort of an operations center, so we've got maintenance and retrofitting and fighters yeah. being readied for takeoff. It's mm -hmm. there's not a lot of space here. This is this is a tough it's situation. It's tight. It's you, gotta, tight. you gotta do what you can with the when you're a rebel. But at the same time, like the first order is so organized, plenty of space for their maintainers oh, and I their see. hangers. Just, yeah. Rebels the rebellion needs to get this little little bit too oh, scrappy. A little bit too scrappy, yeah. We got a mix of craft as well. I see different mm -hmm. types of craft. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on over here on the left, this engine. Maintenance outside. And why does Poe Dameron? I mean, he's okay. He's cool. He's awesome. He's he gets he's mm -hmm. the coolest plane. But I would be so pissed if I was one of these other pilots. Be like, mm -hmm. like f that guy. <laughs> like he gets a cool. Well, he gets it all super nice. Like, what can I? Sure. My explanation can I have? Sure. Maybe he's the commander of an air wing, and so he gets the special plane. 
Okay. And then you, that special plane. Anybody who's the commander of an air wing gets the special plane. So if you get promoted, yeah, yeah. you that's have it. the respect of your your guys and girls doing the right. flying. So they're like, yeah, that's his plane. And from from what I know, from what I've heard about flight teams, flight squadrons, I guess, is that um, they 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 don't get like angry at the boss. They like they understand like it's the boss. Like yeah. he's the ranking officer. They get cool stuff. Right. And I think you only get ranked up if like you're going to be a good leader, which means yeah. people are going to respect. The special stuff you get. You get the special stuff. They also respect that you're a good leader. It makes sense. Yeah. I see. It. I guess I've it doesn't, never. It doesn't feel. You don't feel cheated. You don't like. Yeah. I get it. He's the good pilot. He's also a good leader. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. And then if if you become the leader, then you'll get the special plane. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. But I'm I've never seen Poe lead people. But I guess he is a leader. He leads in combat in that he's like follow me and mm -hmm. attack the thing and cover me. But I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's kind. Of, that's kind of leading. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, that's these uh, these two dishes in the middle. Yep. Uh, they're pretty low. Why don't they put them up on the hill? Or does that yeah. not matter? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, okay. So there is a scenario where they're lined up somewhere over here, and it doesn't matter if you'd be on top or if you'd be on bottom. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess generally you would prefer reception to be your antenna, your satellite to be higher, because then there's less obstruction. But it I is guess, possible that like they're pointing at something in space mm -hmm. and then it lines up, it's fine. I see. So if that's pointing at a geosynchronous satellite, right. it doesn't matter if it's high or low. Just you gotta aim it towards Although the satellite. This, this thing is a problem. It's just, just right in the way. Just right in the way. Just annoying. Yeah. Yep. Well maybe maybe that's a perspective thing. It's actually not in the way. Mm, uh, uh, okay, maybe. Maybe. Because we only see this from one angle, but yeah. it really does look like he's in the way. Maybe it's much farther. Those they're much farther separated than it looks because of the perspective. Yeah, I guess it could be. I really don't like that the that's the engine to the left is got cowlings off, is being maintained by people, and it's exposed to the elements. Wheel that thing exactly. in there. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Are they are they so starved for space that they're like maintenance is spilling out into the concrete? Are they Athlete. so starved for power that they can't have lights inside? They got to use natural light. Yeah, that Weird. could be indicative of some problems. Oh, hey, look at all these pilots with all their helmets. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. That makes sense because, like, if if stuff goes down, like, you gotta got, gotta be ready to fight. Gotta be ready to fight. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Plus, if I was a pilot, I would wear my flight suit just everywhere. <laughs> I want everyone to know that I'm a pilot. <laughs> well, don't they have like aviator jackets? Was it an Andor? What's his name? I don't remember the, the main pilot guy who was talking to. Um, oh no, it was Mandalorian. In Mandalorian, the main pilot guy is talking to uh, Din Djarin, and he when he was in the bar on the beach, he had oh, didn't he have like right. a Sorry. aviator yeah, yeah. jacket on? Yeah, yeah, the leather jacket. So one of those two. I'm never taking them off. <laughs> I'm never taking them off. I'm, I'm always I'm always wearing them in layers. <laughs> Sometimes double up for double prestige. Heck yeah. 